got married during the break. Woo! Yeah, that's a lady. Timmy found a, you know, dirty, rusty thing on the ground and gave it to me. And God damn, have I never been more in love. <laughs> uh, welcome back from the break, guys. We're going to do another half for you guys. Uh, Freshly engaged. Oh, God. <laughs> um, so, to get us started, we just need another one word suggestion. Baseball. Ball. Baseball. Street. Thank you. I hear baseball. So when I think baseball, I think sports. And throughout all of high school, I played varsity <laughs> lacrosse as a goalie. So I am no stranger to pain. Because I got hit a lot. On one particular day, uh, this one, our ace shooter, hit me in the nuts twice. Oh. Now the first time, the first time it was just like, I just took a break, I was like, I need 10 minutes, got off the field, got back on, I was like, alright, I'm ready. Immediately, hits me again, and I was like, no, was like, I'm done, was like, I'm leaving. But this isn't the only time that that has happened that season. Um, he also was taking a shot from behind a fence shot it, it managed to go through, because it was a chain link fence, it went through the chain link and hit me right in the ass. <laughs> and that hurt. And it was also very surprising, because as you could tell, if he hit me while I was paying attention to him, he would have hit me in the front. So I was not paying attention. I just all of a sudden got this pain in my butt. And it was very surprising. <laughs> uh, speaking of getting hit in the cross, um, I have uh, free rubbers and they're very annoying sometimes. But um, the way my old house was set up, so there's a staircase, and then you have to turn in order to go to the living room, bathroom, what have you. Now, there's this weird thing one of my younger brothers liked to do. They would just wait, like in a closet or something, or just in a door, and I'll just walk up, minding my own business, and they would just straight up kick me straight in the nuts. <laughs> and they would do this, like, weekly. It was so annoying. And I never really found a way to get back at them. So, I don't know, one day, and I guess this is just probably the dumbest thing I've ever done, I, I, wait, I wait for him. And this is when, like, oh, my little brother had, like, a oh, party, he had a bunch of friends over, whatever. So, you know, I'm waiting in the same place they always hide, and my brother Jake, he walks up, and I don't kick him in the nuts, but I pants him. And I was just expecting the pants to drop, but no, every, everything dropped, and uh, keep in mind, he was having a party, so every one of his friends... I you know, saw his area, and he was super embarrassed, and my dad got mad and said, don't do this again. Uh, one time I was in a musical in high school, and I had the staff seat in the musical. The musical's lame as I was playing with a little boy who dies. Um, so at the time, it's just a bunch of dudes on stage, and then me, who was supposed to be a dude, but I was a girl. Um, and so there's, like, all these dudes behind me, like, on this, like, barricade thing. Um, and we had just gotten, like, these new sweatpants in um, for, like, our school musical and, like, with our, like, academy players shit on it. And I was wearing them, and they were, like, a little big for me because I was small back then. Um, but I was, like, doing my death scene, and I was climbing down the barricade, all the boys behind me watching uh, as I was, like, supposed to be, like, collecting ammo or whatever. Um, and <laughs> my pants got caught on one part of the barricade, and I was like, oh, I'll just, I'll just jump off, and that will be fine. Um, my pants fell down in front of every single boy that I wanted to impress in high school, and my musical director, and all the girls in the audience. <laughs> and up to bat, we've got number seven, Steven Spiegel, known for being hit with balls, even outside of his control. But who knows, today might be his day. Uh, today it might not hit him in the face, it might not hit him where he doesn't want it to hit him. He might actually hit the ball with the bat. Uh, only time will tell. It looks like <laughs> the pitch is uh, ready to pitch the ball. Let's see. Wow, we right in the kidney. Foul. That <laughs> and it's called by a, a foul by the ref. Uh, logical choice, logical choice. I would not be surprised if Steven would be throwing up peeing and or excreting blood in any sort of orifice. For the next oh, but he's still he's deciding to keep playing. He's deciding to keep playing. Steven Spiegel, man of the century. Balls just can't stop hitting him. 
It's gonna be a rough. It's gonna be a rough afternoon for Steven if this keeps up. You only are born with two kidneys, and he's down one. I'm surprised it took this long. <laughs> and the pitcher winds up his shot. Oh, the infamous screwball! Oh, right, <laughs> right into the bladder, strokes right through the bladder into the catcher's glove. There's just a gaping hole through Steven Spiegel, and he is out. I'm sorry. Next person up to bat. Oh, he's still. He's still, he's still in the back. He's just breaking rules of baseball now, but god damn do we respect that. <laughs> this is the most exciting thing to happen since Babe Ruth did that thing he did. <laughs> One hand, he's stomping, the foot is on the ground, two feet on the ground repeatedly, bringing them up and down. That's called stomping, folks. And a light... Oh, wow! Wow! Who knew the lightest cost could result in permanent eye damage? Take the base. <laughs> yeah, get him out, get him out! I need to talk to my player. Yeah, get up. Get up, come on. And okay, Steven fun. is bleeding profusely through the holes in his body. Okay, so uh, what, you, what you gotta do, uh, I don't know how many strikes you got, but you gotta get up here, you gotta get up. Okay, I want you to swing. You know, if you can't use the arm, I recommend using your whole body. Just swing with your body. Okay, you got this. You're the champ. How was work today, sweetie? <laughs> I made your favorite. Spaghetti with meatballs shaped like baseballs. <laughs> <laughs> I can feed it to you if you want. Shut up. You're so silly when you get off the baseball. <laughs> Oh, oh God! A meatball fell right through your hole. Oh, that looks that looks bad. That looks bad. I've got I've got stomach aches for that. You always get so quiet after you come home from baseball. <laughs> Yeah, man, Steven is so yeah. gone. Yeah, I'm gonna go for Steven just left. Oh! oh! There he is. Flash in the first time, right? There's Steven. <laughs> I can't believe he's gonna make it to the face. That's not Steven, I don't know what is. Uh, you can tell because it's riddled with holes. Oh, yeah, look at that. Yeah, those must have been the shots. Take another shot. Pour it in the wound. Oh, that, that, that's it. Steven, I'm so glad you're here to sing the national anthem before this today's game. I'll just I'll put the mic down here. Am I supposed to get one too? 
Wow! <laughs> it's a simple procedure, nerds. Come on. You should have learned this in medical school. Uh, I fell asleep in medical school. I'm sorry. I missed much of the day I missed. All right. So, what I need you to do is grab the scalpel. Okay. Right there. Yo, we should play some chicken. Play some chicken. Let's play some chicken, boss. Come on, buddy. <laughs> Grab the scalpel. Don't forget it. I got it. I got it. Scalpel. Come on. Thank you. Come on, boss. Get me closer. I can, I can win this. I can win this. Whew. That's a lot more training than I got in their school. Why did you skip this day, nurse? I'm sorry. You should have learned it. I might have been sick. Away. We need a breather, breather. No, we don't. No, no we don't. No, 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 we don't. The no breathing in men. Exactly. Wow. Wow. Everyone, that disrespectful. Take me away, nurse. <laughs> Is that part of the procedure? Give me my hat. Bend down. Let's go. Give me my nurse. That's our victory. That's your, no. that's, that's no. a cheap shot, that's a cheap shot. Give me my hat, bro, don't you grab that. No. Take me away, nurse. I've had it. Nurse, get back here, we need to finish the procedure. <laughs> I hope you fire this one. I will. This is great on the job. Um, Napping on the job, really. Did I tell you I'm voting for Bernie Sanders? <laughs> <laughs> now, how do you expect me to say that you are one of my best applicants for the position of head doctor if you're asleep on the job? I'm sorry. Woo! <laughs> oh. Woo! I just don't understand how you can be so unprofessional as to just Take company time to catch up on your beauty rap. When you have a job to do, Woo! there are people who depend on you. Lives at stake. You're and right, you sir. are valuing your uh, personal well-being over those I'm sorry, of the sir. masses. I'm sorry, sir. When I founded this company, I founded it based on a couple characteristics. One of those was truth. A couple of the others, loyalty. Beauty, ease, effectiveness, giving free health care to the 99% of the population. There were many things, many reasons for creating this, and you came here and you're tearing it all down by sleeping. Did you know that the person who invented coffee invented coffee just for the reason of waking up? I just can't believe. How you could be so weak. Get out! Get up! Get up! My parents died in the fire! You have to be strong. Do you want your job? I can job? do it, guys! I can do it! <laughs> Let the record show that at approximately 10:58 a.m. Wednesday, March 22nd, 2007. Tuesday. Let the record show that on Wednesday, I look back on this moment <laughs> and I put everything behind me. And it's just, let the record I was show. To, I was to be nice. Let the record show that on this day. The ultimate offering of peace was made between two warring worlds. Yeah. Let the re let my record show that too. We'll celebrate. Record. R e c o r d. Yeah. Let the record show that we shook hands. Are you drawing this down? <laughs> um, the speedy exchange will now commence. Does this look like SpongeBob? No, no, no I got a horse. Oh, okay, sorry. Woo! What? Huh? Oh, dude, I gotta write that down. Yeah, put that.
that has a record. <laughs> it's a bunny. Fuck it. Darkfish. <laughs> All my troubles have seemed to go away with these drawings. Like a Mexican dinosaur, but he has like sunglasses on. <laughs> it's a vegetarian enchilada. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I have your hat. Yeah, no, I, I just got caught up in the art. I love, I love you guys too. It's a, I call this one a happy noodle man. A oh, man made out of noodles. <laughs> I call this one Bumblebee in a wheelchair. <laughs> um, Bumblebee with a capital B or with a lowercase b? The other oh, one was the Well, both of the B's are capital. Do <laughs> you ever like realize that like when politics and anger and war are winning out, then we have the true renaissance of art again? Yeah, I tell you, I'm voting for Bernie Sanders. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, the current opens in two minutes and I have to see right away. She's right here. Okay, okay, good. But where is your costume? I am a banana. She's a banana. Uh, okay. I am a fruit. She's a fruit. A oh, oh, oh. Okay, okay, so maybe Juliet can be a banana. We'll, we'll, we'll work this out. Uh, you, you, you. Yeah. Okay, good. We need you in two minutes. Okay, do you remember your lines at least? Yeah. This is my musical tour. <laughs> now, I worked very hard putting this fucking musical number together, okay? And if you're just going to just screw it up, okay, I'm going to get really Listen, intense. I'm not going to stay tucked forever, so we better get this show on the road. Okay, okay, we, we can speed things up. You, you have the curtain? Yeah, I got it. Okay, is everybody ready? Yes. Okay. Let's, let's go, open up the curtains. Open up the curtains. Oh, my, I hope this is good. Oh, dear God. Juliet, Juliet, we're for art thou, Juliet. I'm up in here, Romeo. Hey, let me see that booty chart. Hey, uh. hey, 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 go for it, Uh, yeah, for art thou, where art henceforth being. Uh, <laughs> now that the guard's gone, let's get our cork on. You know what I'm saying, boy? That's yeah, what I'm talking yeah. about. Bring it, bring it, bring yeah. it. Oh, oh God, I love Shakespeare's <laughs> shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I love your shit. Yeah, you wanna go eat poison and die together? Yeah, let's frickin', frickin do, do it. it. Oh, it's Curtis! It's poison! Just stop it! <laughs> that was good, boss. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Let's go. You can break me just regard it all my notes! We took a modern twist to it. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know, Leo DiCaprio in that one movie. Yeah, the red man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try not to get a little too stressed out now. Yeah, you know whatever. Let's just go for it, you know? Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Let's wing it. It's a hundred or nothing, you know? Yeah. That's how I end up. I'm a banana. <laughs> Fine. I'm a banana. And I'm a Fine. hungry girl. Fine, just, just throw away all my work. Let's just see how it goes. I, I bet the audience is gonna hate it. They're gonna, they're gonna absolutely hate it. So fucking put the curtain down. Yeah, take my peel off. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, act two, ladies and gentlemen. Where are they, Romeo? I'm up in here waiting for you right now to put right your now. thing in my thing. And my parents are like, no, you can't do that. You're going to marry Paris, which is a city. I'm like, no. Look, Juliet, I've been here. I'm right here. Oh, Romeo, Romeo, where are yeah. Come on, Romeo, he's right here. I'm right here, Juliet. He's right here. I'm right here. You're right here. I'm right, let me right talk. Here. Let me right talk. Right now. Let me talk. This is the, this is the part where we exchange little I say that. You go first. Look, Juliet, we are right here. And where is here, but it's just a, just a construct of, of human past. For there are thousands upon thousands of generations before us and after us yet to be seen. For we are what the future holds for the future itself. I, Juliet, Romeo. <laughs> I am Romeo, you are Juliet. But who's to say I can't be Juliet? I can't be Romeo. I can't be out of prison. I can't be inside of prison. I just can't. Therein lies the... <laughs> No, they're in the gym. <laughs> I know that one guy's assigning the monologue from Romeo and Juliet. I like to learn my little funk. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've never been to prison. 
Um, <laughs> but I have been arrested. Uh, and let me tell you the story of how I got arrested. It's actually quite a great story. Uh, it happened the day after Christmas. <laughs> so Andrew and his friends decided they wanted to shoot a thing. Andrew had just got the stormtrooper. Shoot as in film uh, uh, video. But Not as in like have a terrorist attack. Uh, close, close to the terrorist attack. We, we were shooting a film, but also involved a fake gun. That they had airsoft guns with them. And they looked very real. <laughs> um, very real to someone who doesn't know what an airsoft gun is. Uh, if you don't know, airsoft guns are required by law of America to have uh, orange tips on the side. And this just happened to look like an assault rifle with a giant orange tip on the end. So they thought that they would go on patrol outside of a 7-Eleven in their home. Well, see, alright, so the thing was, <laughs> I did just get a Stormtrooper hoodie, and it was great, because he zipped it up all the way, uh, <laughs> closed face. And it looked like a stormtrooper to people who know it's Star Wars. Or the Ku Klux Klan. <laughs> <laughs> or the Jihad, by the way. If you know what Star Wars is, you're like, this guy's hilarious. Um, so the day after Christmas, the day after I get it, I'm over to my friend's house. And we're like, let's make a video, because that's what we did back then. Um, and we're like, great. <laughs> let's get this air assault rifle and my Zippo hoodie, and we'll just run around, you know, Lansdale, uh, Main Street. You know, why not? Uh, so we do that, and I go, and I stand outside this 7-Eleven, uh, and I'm patrolling, and in my mind, I'm an empire, I'm one of the stormtroopers for the empire, right? This but is in hilarious. everyone else's mind, it's just the day after Christmas, and they're like, who's this fucking kid? <laughs> yeah, uh, I, as I was patrolling, uh, 7-Eleven's front door, someone walked down, and they're like, well, you're a faggot? Uh, <laughs> true words, and I'm like, no, I'm just on duty, sir. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like... I look inside the store, the, the clerk's like kind of eyeing me like, oh my god. Uh, bands are beeping across the street, and I'm like, alright. I think I'll, I think I'll, you know, make my leave. Everybody got the joke at this point, so I run across the street, uh, and my friends are over here, and I'm like, oh, this will be hilarious. I'll run around the building and meet them there. Uh, so I'm running, and there's a building in between me and my friends, and, and I get to this side of the building, and I'm met with the cops. Uh, and I pulled over my feet, <laughs> and and the cops proceeded to grope me. Uh, yep, just like that. Actually, <laughs> it was really cool. Um, and little did I know that uh, the day after Christmas, uh, the people honking the horn in the van thought I was a terrorist, uh, and they thought that terrorists had come to Lansdale, a suburb outside of Philly. <laughs> to bomb a 7-Eleven. <laughs> and that's... <laughs> beep, beep. You're in the middle of the road. Look out, I can't stop. My brakes are shot. I think my crazy ex-wife did something to them. <laughs> Look out. Oh no! Oh no! Time portal's opening up into the rift! Oh no! Now you know I am the end of our time! Your ex wife called me! Oh no! No! I knew I shouldn't have married her in the first place, but my mom said to! It's too late! I've come to destroy the world. Hey, uh, 911, what's your emergency? Um, I think there's two senile children outside my house. I think they're gonna probably blow something up. I hear a bunch of explosion noises. <laughs> I'm gonna blow okay, up the, the entire city. city. will be right there, right, right. Uh, can I get an address, please? Uh, XXXX Street. Oh, dear God. And it's gonna start on XXXX Street. Uh, now my I'm domination. actually afraid for my life, because now they specified my street. Oh, no. Woo! 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 Yeah, we got a call that uh, someone had some explosives and uh, a bunch of car crashes and playing uh, out. Can you something. please explain to us what's going on over here? Uh, the only thing explosive here is my imagination. Coppers. Do you guys so, like this picture of Hitler I drew? Kids these days are so cute. I agree. So, uh, you guys see any suspicious activity around here? Hi! <laughs> <laughs> nope, just kids being kids. All right, well, uh, we'll leave you off with a warning, and you got to be careful these days. I mean, everybody can anybody can see something, and they'll think, oh, you know, there's a terrorist or something happening. But you two, you two are cute kids. 
Okay, just, you know what, just can't have your parent look at it, maybe they'll give you a little bit of parenting code. Yes, you can't talk about bombs. That's my phone Look, Andrew Coney 2012. The personal one. Okay. Alright, just start at Bobby. You alright? Have a great day. <laughs> and he'll bomb your dad. Yeah, well, my dad is Stalin. <laughs> Hello, son. Um, how's uh, today? Susie made fun of me, so I told her you'd bomb her. You really tell that, son? I did, Dad. I just can't help myself. Look, you can't go telling family secrets like that. Dad, it's just hard. She can't know she's gonna die. <laughs> Why not? You, you, you Honey, I'm back with your bombs from the dry cleaners. Oh, uh, thank you. Thank you very much. Here you are. <laughs> now, you see, I put a lot of time and effort into what I do. Um, that's because I love you, son. Because I, someday, this is going to be your business. I just want to grow up and be just like you. I know, son. That's why you got to learn. There's some rules when it comes to this lifestyle, okay? Well, one, you can't tell people when they're going to die. You also got your uh, wheelchair to put the bombs in to hide them. Oh, thank you. Rule two, never forget your wheelchair. <laughs> Rule three, always dry clean your bombs. I just feel like we have a targeted market oh. with wheelchairs. Hold on. Don't yeah, open up. It's the police. Sure thing. Oh, almost forgot. Give everyone a gift. Hey, uh, yeah, hi. Got you a present. Oh, why, thank you. Hey, hey uh, hold on a second. I left the kettle on. Can you step outside? Oh, yeah, sure. Thanks. Wow. So, yeah, take it. Yeah. Here. Might be in a new alarm I clock think or th this is a, an important moment that we should share. Uh, see, this button right here, what you may not know is that this button... Hey, is like a metronome or something? It'll, it'll blow up that gift that I gave the police officer because that gift is actually a bomb. That's crazy. You made it tick. And remote detonator. <laughs> That's right. You've got it. Weird. That's because I like the aesthetic of the tick. <laughs> <laughs> it's a special one made for you. You all are my most gifted students. You know how to make the bomb from the coat hanger and flashlight. Yep. It, uh, it took me years, you know, of taking up my father's mantle. I've traveled across the world, blowing up world wonder after world wonder. Eiffel Tower of me. I'm sorry, we have a deranged. Get the cattle for us. <laughs> oh. Son, never forget the wheelchair. <laughs> <laughs> and that's our show. <laughs>